Rolls-Royce is a brand name that marks the pinnacle of automotive luxury. They've made the very best of luxury coupes and saloons since decades, yet their customers wanted something that didn't exist. Three years ago, Rolls-Royce had announced that the Cullinan, a name that was to become the first of its kind vehicle to join the names like Durath, Phantom and Dawn. This is Rolls-Royce's first SUV. The Cullinan has been expressed by the CEO as luxury in its purest form, blended with perfect practicality and off-road capability. Words that perfectly summarize the luxury SUV that boasts of box green black leather dashboard lined with wooden trims and jewel-like aircon vents. Leather also adorns a choice of the more practical lounge seats or individual seats that come equipped with champagne flutes and a refrigerator. Being an SUV, a cleverly deployable outdoor seating arrangement can be accessed from the class. Rolls-Royce's two-part tailgate. In another first for Rolls-Royce, the rear seat folds down electronically to expand luggage capacity to 1,930 litres. The Cullinan was tested across the globe in varying conditions from the high snow-capped mountains to the deserts. The SUV features an all-aluminium frame and is powered by a 6.75-litre V12 engine producing 563 bhp and a whopping 850 nm of peak torque while riding on electronic suspension called Rolls-Royce Magic Carpet Ride. An off-road mode can be further customised depending on the terrain. The third generation of Porsche's flagship SUV line is set to hit showrooms in India. The manufacturer has already started taking orders for the all-new KN Turbo. The SUV boasts a 550 bhp, 770 nm of power outputs, helping it achieve 100 km per hour in just 4.1 seconds. An optional sports chrono package further quickens that runs to 3.9 seconds while going on to hit a top speed of 286 km per hour. The new Cayenne Turbo brings many firsts like an adaptive roof spoiler which not only offers downforce but also acts as an air brake too and rear axle steering that has been borrowed from the 911.